Three years is a long time to not have to pay on anything, including student loans. And so I'm sure lots of people have gotten into the fold of having their personal finances not have this big line item in there. So it's a big adjustment. Brian Ullman with Fresno's Ford Financial Group says for graduates with federal student loans who resume payments this month, the first thing you want to do is log into studentaid.gov and view your loan amount to get a better understanding on how it may affect your budget. Starting with the basics, figuring out your budget, figuring out where this fits in, and then also contacting your loan servicer and figuring out what kind of tools are in place on their end that could help you with your repayment schedule. According to Lending Tree, the average California student borrower has $37,000 in student debt. While fixed repayment plans are an option for anyone, so are income-driven repayment plans, including the new SAVE plan. That offers lower payments per month for low-income borrowers and stops growing interest. Ullman says you'll have to apply and says whatever you do, don't wait to pay. As you're kind of considering these repayment options, not paying and then waiting for forgiveness is, is a bad way to go. It's going to affect your credit. As for colleges and universities, re-educating graduates and current students on loans has been key. What we're trying to do is to make sure we're providing that ongoing communication support so that they know how to budget, make those loan payments, and start to incorporate some of that back into the way that they move forward.